you get a real sense of a small town here that is immediately and directly surrounded by agriculture and it is very much its, its livelihood. And so what we're looking to do is how we take the waste streams coming from the agriculture and utilising it and converting it to energy. About here, our family has been on this property since the 1880s. The Clean Cower project would be useful to us because we produce a lot of products that have a uh, very tight specification. We need to be able to utilise everything, even the things that fall below the line and are deemed as waste. So sewage from the waste treatment plant, manure coming from agriculture, some of the byproducts coming from food production, putting them all together in one big technology process. The technology is a, a proven technology, it's widely utilised uh, overseas, uh, Europe and particularly Scandinavia. So effectively we're talking about anaerobic digestion, which is effectively like a large cow's stomach. Taking the waste streams, taking it on a board, digesting it through a series of chambers in an oxygen starved environment, and from that you basically produce the gas or the biomethane. But there's also other byproducts, as in with a cow's stomach, you also get the pats, which are highly rich in nutrients, and you also get the wastewater. So we're creating both uh, electricity, uh, heat and also fertilisers. If Clean Cower can uh, produce a, a, a biodigester that we can utilise our waste product through and create something that's useful, it goes from being a, a waste to a resource and that's what we need. It's been a long, <laughs> long, slow uh, haul, lots of talking, lots of presenting ideas and I think now that we have started to develop um, some support around it. We have state level support, we've also got local council support and I think once we got to that it, it, it made it a lot easier to tell the story. I, I guess council's interest in the clean cow proposal is that, that there's an environmental issue and understanding issues around energy and clean energy and energy security at a, at a reasonable price into the future. We currently have a demand around about uh, 22 uh, megawatts so effectively it would represent about 60% of the energy needs in the town. We see an opportunity to be able to tap into this type of uh, energy creation for usage on our own product particularly around our sewer treatment plant and we can take care of our own crap and what's produced in our community. Cowra Council has offered up this lagoon to effectively convert it to an anaerobic digester and how that will look is effectively over this lagoon will be a large tarp that will be covering it and from that the gas will be captured under that tarp. So the gas will be then drawn out from underneath the tarp and then stored and then be able to be converted to both electricity, heat Currently uh, their process involves a large amount of energy and also chemical to uh, break down the waste treatment where the process that we'll be implementing is effectively a biological process. So um, by capturing the methane, the bacteria and the bugs within the water will break down the effluent rather than using chemical and electricity to do so. A plant like this could actually return to net zero energy uh, from its uh, own gas production, which is pretty uh, phenomenal for a plant of this size. If you look at Europe and the US, uh, there are a lot of biodigesters around. Um, a lot of farms have their own biodigesters to create energy because energy prices are going up. They are going to continue to go up and we're heavy users of energy. So, you know, I'm looking at a longer term view here rather than what's the best economics today? I'm thinking well, what's the best economics for the next 10 years? I think being able to produce or contribute to your own energy supply is a big thing.